Well, Brett Kavanaugh went through a lot to get on the Supreme Court, including bogus charges of gang rape. But he's there and there for life, or that's what you thought. The question now is, is Kavanaugh's powerful legal mind strong enough to withstand the forces of witchcraft? It's a real question now. A coven of self-described witches in New York is planning a rally next week to put a hex on Justice Kavanaugh. You can buy a ticket to attend this hexing ceremony for 10 bucks. The quarter of that goes to Planned Parenthood to help them continue to fund their human sacrifice rituals. Kathy Aru is the founder of Catalina Magazine. She's our liberal Sherpa, leading us to the snowy peaks of American progressive thought. And she joins us tonight, the rarefied air. I'm feeling dizzy uh, up here, Kathy. Tell us, yeah. hexing, this yes. would be kind of the latest tool in the progressive toolbox for positive social change? The latest tool, it's, it's going back. It's going backwards to uh, witchcraft. We're going all the way back in our society to the days of um, hexing and, and witchcraft and, yep, and spells and potions and santeria. Santeria. So, I mean, that's not too surprising that the party that conducts witch hunts would also conduct witchcraft, right? Well, it's a group actually in Brooklyn. I have the information. Um, it's going to be next week, October 20th, in case any of your viewers wanted to go. Um, it's going to be from 7 to 10 p.m., and everyone's uh, welcome. It's open to the public, and if you don't have the $10, you're still welcome to go. So they're hoping that people who come to this hexing will then become activists and march and go to D.C. and have their voices heard. So they're hoping it's a stepping stone. Well, it certainly is. It's a stepping yeah. stone to some pretty dark stuff. Yeah. Isn't it unfair, though? I mean, if you want to change the public's mind on a question, shouldn't you make your case? Is it fair to engage in witchcraft against them? Uh, it seems that they have this um, Trump anxiety disorder that um, we talk so much about that people are really kind of um, losing their minds as Kavanaugh confirmation has caused people to now have to resort to witchcraft. And I, I think they truly believe, this group truly believes that this will work. And it's against rapists also in the United States. It's not just against Kavanaugh. It's against men who they consider rapists. And um, they've had three hexes against Trump. And they feel they were successful. They feel that the presidency isn't going as well. So they're hoping that this doesn't this say so? I mean, we used to laugh at less developed nations where people practice witchcraft and witches were killed, human sacrifice took place, cannibalism. What does it tell you that in the very heart of Brooklyn, hipster HQ, people are doing what they do in, you know, the the, the most primitive places in the world? I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's a 5K run type of thing. I'm hoping it's for awareness. I'm hoping that it's so extreme that they're doing it as um, a sign of just awareness and getting their thoughts out there and letting it be known that they don't support Kavanaugh. Um, I, I can't imagine they believe that this hex will work, but um, so perhaps some of them do believe but in what, it. I mean, a serious question, and I'm, you know, I'm hardly yeah. a theologian or an expert right. in this stuff. Yeah. But what if, what if it's true that not, you know, everything that's real we can see, and there actually are spiritual forces, and you're sitting around with a bunch of other dumb people, summoning up dark forces? Like, would would you want to be in the same room as something like that? Would you want to participate in that? If they're like-minded people, and if I'm sitting with like-minded people, and these are like-minded people, and they truly do not agree with Kavanaugh being in our Supreme Court, and, uh, yeah, I want to summon the dark forces, then I can go to an event. I mean, it's America. There's an event for oh, everyone. No, right. So here it is. So, but why wouldn't a hex be an act of violence? against somebody I, I don't know if it necessarily works it's a it's a hex i don't think they're necessarily going to send a um something hurtful to him i it's not hurtful it's a peaceful gathering from what i understand it's a peaceful from hex the, uh, from what i understand it's a peaceful hex uh it has bad intentions but they're like-minded people causing no one harm Wishing causing them harm. no one harm. Wishing I love harm, that. But causing no harm. Just hexing people. No problem at all. Turning people into zombies, summoning Satan to, to, to work his dark magic on people they don't like. Not a yeah. big deal. No. Uh, yeah, I get it. Are you going, by the way? I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to go, but if your viewers would like to go, um, we did share the information. I, I don't think I, I hope can. I hope we make didn't. It. I think it's the creepiest thing I've ever heard. And by the way, what if it's real? 
I'm serious. Like, what if this is real? You want to be around that stuff? I'd run the other way. What? Well, it's against rapists. So, I mean, if it's against bad guys and it's real, then it's a good thing. But uh, against Kavanaugh, nothing was proven against him. Yeah. So I hope Wait. that's not real. Ugh. Kathy Ruth, thank you very much.